Howdy folks, long time no see. For those of you that uh, have been following my Instagram or me on Facebook, you're probably wondering, what happened to Eddie? What happened to Ed? What happened to Cut Your Road? Well, I'm gonna tell you about that. Um, right now, I just finished stowing the rig. Gotta make a quick stop, but we are heading back to Arizona. But along the way, I promise I'm going to tell you the whole story. Not too long, but uh, it was it's interesting. And uh, yeah, that sounds dramatic, but I almost died. So um, yeah, let's just get into it. sometimes I would just leave the cameras on. Already I've had debris in the road. Apparently the loop here in New Braunfels is a good place to throw away your trash. And uh, <laughs> I've been cut off three times and I'm doing just over the speed limit. But, uh, that being said, here's our stop. Discount tire. So anytime I'm doing a travel day, especially a long one, I always get the tires checked if I've been sitting for a while. And the truck doesn't see a lot of mileage because um, I uh, work remotely for my day job. And then for my, uh, you know, uh, for the rest of it, I, uh, or for the RV rather, I, uh, hang on a second here. Hey bud. Uh, I just want to check all the tires. I'm on. Yeah, dude. I'm about to drive to Arizona. Thanks, man. But yeah, the, the trailer's been sitting, and that's part of what we're going to talk about. I came to this part of Texas. I was supposed to be here maybe three months to deal with my. Uh, hip problem, which most of you should know about. And uh, then that one south. Let's see what we got here. I'm worried about how I'm going to get out of here now. What's, can, can I go around that way? You can, but it's tight over there. Damn. Want your, you want your air checked in the trailer? Yes, sir. I'll lay all of it, the truck and the trailer. I'm about to drive to Phoenix, Arizona. Um, go around but it's tight over there there's a turn over there by brake check that's eh, probably that car if i can clear that car i could probably swing wide yeah right. yeah uh what air pressure you want on the trailer you want me to max out the tires yeah they're front discount so whatever they're supposed to be uh, I, would you max them out in this kind of heat though really oh well, you guys know better than me i mean it's making comfortable i can go about five pounds low you you wait you think from from here to az with the temps it's they're going to inflate more yeah okay. Those are 65, I'll go 60. All right. All right. Let me get that done. These, the these shouldn't be too bad, but I don't know where they're at. Yeah. These, I think these max out about 80, but we'll, take, we'll look at it whenever. Okay. Okay. I'm going to take care of this, and I'll come back to you. So discount tires wasn't a big deal. Uh, the trailer was at, they were all, all the tires on the trailer were at 60 PSI. Max is 65. Now, I could be wrong, but I figured it's so hot and I'm going such a far distance from New Braunfels, Texas to uh, Buckeye, Arizona, that they might expand or something. So I left them at 60, and then they went around and just double checked the ones on the, the truck. Now, if I'm wrong about that, leave a comment down below. I, you know, I, I could be wrong, but sometimes I just leave them a little low if they're hot because I just feel like they're going to expand. And knock on wood, you know, in Arizona, I mean, during the summer, you see a lot of tires blow out. Now, again, they're lacking tread work. I'm great on the tread. Everything's good. The tires are relatively new on the trailer and relatively new or at least good on the, uh, the truck itself. Um, I have a turn coming up. 
You know, one thing I hate when I have a long travel weekend or a long travel day and I have to get somewhere by a certain time. Like, so tonight I have hotel reservations in Las Cruces. But there's things that I'd love to stop, you know, pull over and check out, whether it's, you know, historic or it's quirky, something along those lines. Well, coming into Bernie, where I'm at right now, I just passed um, what I thought was a the ruins of a mission. So does anyone know anything about that? That's Bernie, Texas. It's actually spelled born with an E at the end. But <laughs> is anyone familiar with, you know, uh, an old ruin or something like that? It looked like an old church or something. Anyhow, so I'm thinking, oh yeah, I can see it on the, the, the screen now. We're getting very close to the interstate. Once I'm on the I-10, it's pretty much a straight shot all the way home. You know, and I am looking forward to that. So all we have to do to deal with is a couple fuel stops today, get to the hotel. I'm excited for the hotel because it'll be the first time in a while. You don't get, very often I don't get to uh, <laughs> have a normal shower. The um, the RV is, uh, it's not very big. And I've been wanting to upgrade it, but one of the problems with it is I call it the telephone booth for the, uh, the shower. It's just so small. And I've lost a ton of weight and it's still small. So I am looking forward to a, a hot shower at the hotel, and I am uh, gonna stretch out, you know, put my feet up. It's gonna be pleasant. Maybe get a bite, just depends. I left a little late, so my hip was a little stiff this morning, but yeah, it's okay. I mean, tomorrow is gonna be the quick one. I usually don't sleep very well at the hotel. Maybe I will, maybe I won't tonight, but generally I don't, so. Usually after three or four hours, you know, I get up, get dressed, and I hit the road anyway. You know, I've never been here. It's, it looks pretty neat. I love these historic downtowns. Uh, you, I mean, you got them in Arizona. You got them throughout the South, uh, you know, the Midwest. But, oh, man, Texas are just, I just love them. But, of course, when I get really excited, when you see a lot of stuff like this, I just don't have time to stop. And what can you do? Got a long way to go and a short time to get there. So, you know, we are westbound and down at this point. All right, well, got three quarters of a tank. Just on the other side of town, here's uh, the 10, about two miles. I say, let's get you up, let's get out of here. no idea where I am for reference but just stopped fueled up the tank I was a little near a half tank was out of water because I was dumb and didn't bring any from the RV in so it's all warm so I got some Ozarka filled my trusty go cup up which I need to freshen up that sticker and truck stop sandwich Unfortunately, not too many options. I'm trying to eat healthier as a result of what happened, like kind of like I used to, eat clean. Um, I don't want to do burgers and whatnot on this trip. Well, you know, I mean, not against burgers. It's okay once in a while. It's again, probably better if you're moving around, but if when you're driving, I just don't feel like it's probably the best choice. But this was with my kidney diet, which we'll get into that. I was on uh, a renal diet for acute patients, uh, which 
probably should dive into that. We'll do that in just a moment. Uh, again, want to get back on the road because of my hip being so sore today. As a, I got a late start. But before I get back on the 10, let's do a, <laughs> let's do a taste test. I didn't get any dressing with it because I figured it'd be pretty gross. Looks fresh. Smells fresh. Mm, not bad. It's got that processed cheese, you know, the kind that comes in that plastic, you know, that you peel apart. I don't like that. I like real, like, what's that, Telemook? Telemook? Like real cheese. But I'm hungry, and this is in the diet. Stick that there. All right. I'm going to get back on the road and keep heading west. Again, destination is Las Cruces. Okay, so let's dive into this whole where has Eddie been. All right, so going back to at some point when I was in Missouri, my friend Ashley, back home in Arizona, suggested I check out New Braunfels, and that's uh, kind of center of Texas between Austin and San Antonio. Now you ask why? Well, I was looking for somewhere to kind of hang out that was, you know, like local to, you know, for musicians that I've dealt with in the past, whether on the podcast, um, Inside Studio CRE, or just on the channel in general. And New Braunfels is right in between both towns, so it's kind of perfect. Plus, some of the musicians, musicians actually come through town. So, like, if you were to go into downtown New Braunfels right there, there's several venues, but one specifically, to give an example, is the Poor House, which is, like, right as you're getting in, up into it on San Antonio Street. I'll give you an example. Wayne Garner goes there a lot. So, it sounded like a good idea. I checked it out. Really liked it. Went home to visit, and then went back to it, and I decided, you know, while I'm here... Let me see if I can try and get some good health care going because I was struggling in Arizona with this. You know, as many of you know, if you look at the video, sometimes you'll see me kind of moving funny. Um, you know, I was diagnosed of all any problems with a bad hip. And this is where it gets interesting. So after the diagnosis, it was, um, I inquired about getting a hip replacement. Well, because I had been, you know, sedentary and mobile for so long, you know, the past, you know, two years or so, I put on a substantial amount of weight. So when I say substantial, I'll put it this way. I was, I usually bounce between, I think, 100 and, about 190 and like 215. Okay, I got a lot bigger than that. And I'm not going to tell you. But those that have, that have seen me in person know you know, especially those who saw me in Texas at one point, no, I got, I got pretty large. That being said, they suggested I lose the weight first. And then come back and, you know, look at getting said hip replacement. So I said, okay. But the suggestion was at that point was get a injection, a cortisone injection into the hip. So I agreed to this. And so I went and got the shot. It wasn't too, too bad. And then about a, not even a week later, I woke up one day with a terrible fever. It had to be like 103. Just couldn't function. And um, I probably did all the worst things you could do. I immediately took um, 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. Uh, started drinking. Um, I tried to drink water because it was like I couldn't get anything down. But I kept taking my pills with orange juice, and then when I, and then I was I had then I had bananas, which it's funny I never have bananas and orange juice, but then I have it. So I would try to eat a couple of bites of banana. Uh, about 10, 12 hours into it, still had the fever. Took another 800 milligrams of ibuprofen. See where I'm going out with this? And then the next morning, around 5 or 6 a.m., more ibuprofen. And uh, that's when it started getting scary. So I was in contact with one of my friends and um, I noticed something very bad when I went to the bathroom. It was pretty scary. 
scary. So finally, I decided probably need to go to the emergency room. Of course, I wanted to go to the one of the closest, but I figured I could just go in and get an antibiotic or something. I probably had infection and leave. Well, I went to the one locally by the resort I was staying at. Um, they, they took my blood, uh, did a um, P test on me, did a CT, and my hip was just killing me. My legs were killing me. Finally, they came in. Um, and let me know that I was in uh, kidney failure. And all I can tell you is the room was just spinning. Absolutely just spinning. And uh, so at this point, I was in so much pain, they gave me like a little bit of morphine and knocked me out. Uh, my friend Josh, TikTok, or Bartok Josh uh, from TikTok, he, he stopped by briefly. And then uh, my good buddy Ash, um, who's an Uber driver in New Braunfels, he uh, was nice enough to run by my place and uh, did he grab some stuff there? No, 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 no. He didn't go in there yet. But anyway, so uh, long story short, I wake up the next morning and they want to send me to a different emergency room. And then there was some confusion on whether I was, you know, going to be transferred by an ambulance or I'm driving myself. But then it was almost like they talked me into just driving myself. So I went home and drank a Gatorade, put on some fresh clothes drove to the next hospital, you know, so, and this one was more in town, actually it's right by uh, the famous water park Schlitterbahn, it's like right around the corner, and that's when everything really got weird, um, uh, but needless to say, it was kind of a battle, but it, it, it was extremely terrifying, you know, I went on this trip to kind of like reset, you know, um, kind of find myself, figure out what I'm going to do for the next chapter of my life following my divorce and now at this point I'm you know facing dialysis and all this well the hospital was stay was pretty miserable uh, my mom and dad god bless them they were nice enough to come out uh, towards the end of it and uh, at this point thanks to a, um, a friend of Ashley's I was connected with a different doctor and as soon as the hospital found out I was consulting him they kicked me out. It was it was interesting. So I'm not making much progress in the hospital. They find out I'm consulting with another doctor. Kicked me out. So um, I end up going into outpatient dialysis down in Sherman, Texas, and almost immediately started showing you know positive results. Uh, like this doctor was phenomenal. So I you know I stuck with the diet. But basically it's it's eating clean, kind of like I used to, but just on a different level, you know, I mean, very, very strict, so, I mean, yeah, I mean, I lost, like, 70 pounds, uh, still have a lot to look to my target, but 70 pounds, it's insane, but that's also between the time I started the hospital, and I went there, because, you know, again, anything with, anything with sodium, phosphorus, gone, hard cheeses, gone, barbecue sauce, forget it, you know, um, yeah, it, it is very, very basic, you know, uh, learn, you know, earlier this year, though, like, things like Coca-Cola, toxic for your kidneys, something to keep in mind, you know, but I, I mean, I, I'm with you every now and then, you want a, a soda or something like flavor, you know, Sprite root beer, I, you know, is on their list, and I'm okay with that, but, you know, there's a lot of things I will never, ever eat again. That is just so bad for you, but, you know, you live, you learn. Anyhow, so after a few weeks of the dialysis, I did get cleared. Uh, that's why I'm heading home. I still have the port here in my chest. I will get that removed in Arizona. At the same time, I have to deal with something else. Um, apparently, I have uh, some swollen lip nodes. Again, they're in the area where I got the injection. I think I still have the initial infection. They want to rule out cancer. So the clinic that was going to do the biopsy dropped the ball on, on it in Texas. So we're just sending all this to Arizona right now so that when I get there, sometime this week, I'll get the biopsy done and then I'll get the pork removed. So, you know, that it, it was interesting. You know, it's been a, you know, a journey. I, I 
just went there because I wanted to deal with, you know, the hips so I could get the weight down, and then I've had some swelling in my legs, so I went to figure that out. That's 98% gone in terms of the, the fluid stuff. They drained that out, but, you know, I, I planned three, maybe four months and ended up staying, you know, geez, over seven months. So at this point in time, it's, it's time to go home and uh, be around my support system, my friends, my family, and uh, I'm gonna look at upgrading the RV, and I'm looking at purchasing a home, or maybe building one, I haven't decided, I'm still on the fence. Uh, if I were to do that, the, the big key thing is, is finding a piece of land that's already got the utilities. But the surprise is where, because I'll tell you something, I, I can't live in the valley anymore. It, it was too hot before, and I'm driving into this heat now, and it was in the upwards 105 plus humidity in Texas, but Arizona is going to be way worse. But that's kind of what happened there. You know, without going into more detail, you know, I, again, I'm alive, I survived. Uh, but, you know, take care of yourselves out there, people. You know, you only get one body. You know, I don't know what caused the initial infection, but, you know, I'm going to take better care of myself again. You know, I'll be the first one to admit that, you know, I was pretty depressed after my divorce and probably didn't always make the best uh, food decisions, but, you know, live and learn. So, with that, uh, I got 432 miles to go. So, I think at this point, um, I'm going to focus on the road. And I'll see y'all at the hotel. Well, good morning. As you can see, I'm at the hotel. Um, slept lately like an angel. Uh, showered up. Had breakfast. It's about 11 a.m. Check out. Um, wanted to leave earlier, but it was I just, you know, after spending so much time in a small travel trailer, I was like, let's just relax, chill out, kind of a thing. So I enjoyed it. But. Um, did have an issue yesterday the uh, cord the, that you connect to the truck from the RV I uh, didn't survive so I have no running lights kind of have turn signals so I need to get back ASAP and it looks like there's a storm that's going to be rolling into the Phoenix area so probably not so great without lights on that thing but regardless I'm going to start heading out now um, uh, thanks for hanging along. I think I'm going to close this one here. Um, I, I do have another video I'm literally working on right now um, that we should be able to see in about a week, uh, within a week of this one. But uh, it's just, uh, it's you know what, I'm not going to leak any surprises. So um, anyhow, uh, thanks for sticking along with me. I uh, love you all. Uh, don't forget to hit, hit that subscribe button if you already have it. Um, the notification bell if you want a notification every time I put up a new video. And uh, YouTube is about to tell you the uh, last video that I put up that they think you're really going to like. So check that out. And then this is the very last video I just did. So check it out. So that being said, see you over there. So long.